It's Oliver Chavis, my wife Stephanie. We're back out on the waters of Beaufort, South Carolina, pulling this 25 foot trawl net. And since so many of you guys have been interested in the video, we thought we'd bring you back out here again today and just give you a little look at what we're catching this 25 foot trawl net right here off of Beaufort, South Carolina. Hope you enjoy the video and go ahead at this time and hit that like and subscribe button. Let's just take a little panoramic view of what we're looking at here. Check this big cloud out right there. You can see the rain off in the distance. Another little rain cloud right over here. Another one over this way towards where we at, the Otter Island. Edisto Beach is right off this point. You see off in the distance. And we're right out in front of Harbor Island right here in Beaufort, South Carolina. First pull on the trunk trawl net, guys. Check this out. How many we got? Shrimping ain't easy. Shrimping ain't easy. There was a bunch of jelly balls and bycatch and stuff in the net. And we mostly just dumped it out. And as they were coming out the bottom of the tail bag, Steph just kind of grabbed a few of them and throw them in there to show you guys. But look at the beauty around us. Yeah, so we just basically rail dumped the whole bag because it was a lot of jellyfish and it was the real jellyfish, not just the cannonball jellies that don't sting. So we just let it all go. We're just getting this morning with salty reflections out here on the waters of Beaufort, South Carolina. Going to do a little bit more shrimp trawling with you guys. Um, you can see us hazy over this morning or great cloud coverage. And I've seen six or seven other trawl boats out here with us today. And we're hoping with this cloud cover and everything, you know, all of us guys have some good luck. You know, keep the shrimp up in the shallower waters. We're going to pull this net with you guys and show you what we have. We got one, two, three, four, five boats pretty close to us. The furthest one away is those, that light kind of flickering down there. It is sunrise just a few moments ago. It sure is cool out here this morning, right? Yep. No 100 degree day today. They call it for 84 degrees here in Beaufort today. So I can understand why we got this cloud covered. It's looking nice. We got this first pull up on this shrimp trawl net. We brought the bag all the way over the side. Want to show you guys what we have. Pretty decent amount of shrimp. Not too bad, not too good, not too bad. That's the way I like to say it. Not too good, not too bad. Could be better. Let's look at the size of them, see what they look like. That's, that's going to be a good factor in it. They're decent. They're growing up. They're getting bigger. They're definitely bigger than uh, the ones we called in our last video. Bigger size, bigger average. Thank God we're not just, you know, like hitting a bunch of jelly balls or, or cannonball jellyfish and stuff like that. Guys, sometimes, you know, this right here, that right there is a very very good pull you know with a small trawl net we're using this 25 foot little net so i'm happy with it enjoying this day enjoying this beauty that god has put around us and enjoying just the beautiful structures that man has created right there the beautiful house of the harbor got some shrimpies and I'm just right here, guys. I'm releasing this uh, tail bag from the side of our boat. I leave it anchored right here. A lot of times we just hook it over that right like that. Get it put back out. Because that's all we're pulling, guys, the tail bag of this net. We just cannot pull that net in and out with it being just me and Steph or Steph and I in the boat. 
So we figured out how to do it like this through the knowledge of others that shared it with us. I'm gonna go around and get hooked back up. And then get this sorted. Ooh, look at the ink you spit out. And right now, this area where I'm pulling the net, to check it is, is only five foot deep. We're out on the flat right here in front of Harbor. I'm gonna get this camera. We're aiming for the buoy right there. We're gonna get staff right back here on the back left of the boat because the wind is pushing to our right off our bow there, guys. So I need her to get it right here. And when she picks it up, she's just gonna hook it back to our block. It's uh, quite a feat when the wind picks up and the tide's against you, but we're gonna give it a try with the camera. The stuff just goes all the way to the back center of the boat as she's pulling up, just so it's not pushing the boat around any more than what it already is. So she's got the 10 pound anchor and she's got her pull line. She's got the red one right there. So it's gonna to go to the right door on the back. We already know that. She's gonna hook, hook, hook back up. Oh Lordy. Come on. Can't keep the motor in. Stop staying running. We need no uh, tune up on this uh, 90 Yamaha here. <laughs> We're needing a tune up, I can tell you that now. About everything we have needs a tune up, guys. We just do the best we can with what we got. We love bringing you guys out here. And I guess, you know, there just can't be no shame in our game. There's so many of you watching. I mean, how am I supposed to act? You know, it is what it is. This is what we have, and this is what we use, and this is what we bring you guys along with us on. This is who we are. This is us. This is who we are, this is what we do. Like I've said before, and, guys like it. In a roundabout way, we do choose to be this way in life. You know, we're living the simple life, you know, trying to save on every little dollar that we can. And that's just the life that we've chosen to live. Spurs are waiting. Put all our catch on this little table Oliver's got here. See a couple little fish and I'll put them right here in this water. I turned this this way so it would have this water in this edge so you guys can see. Try to get them revived a little bit before I throw them back out here where these birds are. It was pretty well. Got a big hermit crab in it. A little trout. Oh yeah, he's still alive too. So I'm gonna try to sneak him back into the water. Better swim. Nope, that seagull got him. All right, so let me get all this stuff going through. I'm just gonna try to see if I saw anything else to show you guys real quick. See several little flounder, fluke, jellyfish. You see the little jellyfish. Plenty of squid. I bet some we of you guys that, that have been watching the channel is finally glad to see us have some type of little sorting table. Uh, it's not the best in the world, but you know, it's real small and narrow. And for this boat, we can kind of just stand it up by our doors when we're transporting the net. All right, so let me get all this sorted out and these little fellows back out there. All right, fellow swim. And then these two, you see them? there. Get them back out. Try to sneak them down by the boat sometimes. <laughs> Give them a chance to get away from these guys. And then some we keep as bait because of course you guys that follow along with the channel a lot know we crab a lot so we go through a lot of crab bait so we keep and use you know what we can. 
some but things we can't keep. These guys stuff and let's uh, get these shrimp. Uh, you know, everything ain't about video and guys, we got to get through this mess and get on to doing what we do, right? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Because you constantly want to talk to them and show them stuff. So well, all right, well, what you want to show them? <laughs> I want to show them this little trout that we cannot keep. So I'm gonna put him back. He's wagging his tail to go. You better swim, wag your tail, swim. Nope, that seagull got him. I constantly wanna show him stuff. <laughs> well, we you both do. All the stuff that you've showed him in these videos stuff. Look at, look at that squid, how he's holding onto that shrimp. I didn't know nothing about sea life before I met you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I could introduce you to a beautiful world. Look at that beautiful sun rays going through the clouds back on that guy a chance. Well, because these birds right will eat them too. Stuff, right out in front of Eddie's throw this morning. Look at that beautiful uh, display of the sunlight coming through the clouds. Sun rays. Beautiful. That's what we love. Oh, yeah. We had them shrimp. <laughs> Let me get off here, guys. We got to get to work. <laughs> Second pull on this shrimp trawl net. 25 foot little net right here with you guys. I'm seeing some shrimp. Steph's help with this one. Take a look at here. Maybe like. not, maybe not. Maybe I can roll it. Some of that water drain. Oh, I see some shrimpies. That's awesome. See a little stingray in here too. Uh, Be careful. Spotted stingray. Spotted ray. Spotted Man, that's ray. pretty ray. I'm going to let you guys take a look at him. Looks almost like the matter ray. Yeah, I think those are the equal rays with all those spots. I may be wrong. One of y'all probably know. I know one. If not, I know one of y'all will Google it and tell us. So let us know. I know that well, there's one that's real common in this area, and a lot of people think that it's the matter rays. But he's got the square head, and really that's the what bull nose ray, cow nose, cow nose ray. A little better. A little better deal. Let's see where that's the tail end. Oh man, he's beautiful. He is. Or oh, she. That looks like a girl. I'm just pulling it out so you guys can get a look at it. I'm gonna let Oliver it grab it. Oh man. Look how his face is shaped. I know it. See inside their mouth. They don't really have any like teeth right in that area. Their barb is their defense. 
and I'm not sure if this one has a barb or not because this isn't a real common one uh, to us. We'll go ahead and unhook us. Let us be drifting back for a he second. He does, I see it. We'll get that guy on out of there. We're drifting back a little bit from our net now. Look at this little guy. Little sail cat. You do not want him to hit you. Get him swimming away. You better get your breath back cats, before those birds get you. The little you. sail cats are kind of uh endangered endangered in our area right now and this little this little guy here's got a short barb really short you can see it back there on the back you just stab that fish and by this is his know. nostrils i'm gonna just kind of grab him a little bit get him on out of the boat look at his face and stuff he's got a really long tail and he's in perfectly good condition Fella. Look how he's just gliding with that water. So you guys know what we about to do. Look at there. That's a pretty good haul. We need to get back on them. Good. Let's click off for now stuff and let's don't waste no time. Let's get at it. 3rd pull on this trout trawl net. Tide pushing on me and look here. Oh yeah, hold on, let me get around there to help you. See these dolphins. You are starting to see a lot of little jellies. Little jellyfish in our net also. See all the little jellies and stuff, but yeah, the cannonball jellyfish and the regular jellyfish. Get this jellyfish. thing on up and got a little shark in here also, guys. See what we got in here. See what these shrimp are looking like. Got a mess to go through, but we got some shrimp. Got some jellies. Shrimping ain't easy, guys. I know you a lot of you guys are wanting to try it. You're messaging me and you're asking me about it. And sometimes I think my honest opinion may even uh hurt some people's feelings. It's not that I'm trying to keep anybody from doing it. Anybody want to give it a try? Come on down here to Beaufort, South Carolina. Get your boat a net. Check with the guys at Beaufort Marine Supply. And we'll get the camera lens cleaned off for you guys. There we go. Yeah, we, lots of splashing. I got him in the water, so he's already revived. He's ready. Pretty good. He gone. Little trout. Pull ropes and do it again, guys. Let's get at it. Got a lot of work to do. They're waiting on us too. The birds are waiting on us to feed them. Dolphin have been following us eating. It sure has been a beautiful day and we're so thankful for the shrimp that we are catching. We gotta get to work. That's it. So we just released from that uh pull ropes and we're headed around now and you can see the first set of buoys here that's on the top of the main part of the net the opening of the net where it's funneled the biggest part of the funnel and the lead of the net and we're coming around to the tail bag buoy right here attached to our tail bag like always fourth pull right stuff yeah, we did. We wanted to see them go away from the net. Oh, 
go get it. Current's pushing us a little bit, guys. Got the tide still coming in on us. So, we're pulling this one in about six and a half foot of water. Straighten this motor up for us, Stefan, and we'll ease forward a little bit, get some tension off of it, so so stuff don't have to pull the boat against the current. Maybe coming back. Well, that made me think maybe there wasn't anything in the net, so I hope that ain't the case. I hope not. I think the net probably stopped moving and collapsed. Let me grab that for you, Steph. We'll see. All we can do is try. We're trying to get them. We still got good bit of shrimp up in this net but I'm trying to work down towards the tail bag as I'm doing it seen a fish come back out of the fish eye just then so it works exactly guys this is a fish eye right here the part that he hooks up on the rod holder and see how it's open in the back so the fish when they're caught in the tail bag they have uh, a well, I mean, it's designed to pretty much let them be able to have an exit point. That little spider crab. I like to pop it like that. You know, just pop, pop, pop kind of work them down in the bag. Almost oh, like pulling man. the shrimp nut. Oh, Woo, lots of well, jelly. Is that, that same shark again? I know he didn't come back. Here we go. We're gonna pull it up. So we had it pulling in the boat, guys. Had to put a little glitch right there in the video for you guys because, you know, I can't pull this bag in by myself. Sometimes stuff, she, she just has to help me. Look right there. It's good to have somebody that'll help you guys. Big lady fish in there, I see. We got that dolphin. He's right little here. Oh. Out, look, little baby right there with He's a mother. Gasping. There's a little baby dolphin swimming around us with his mother, another dolphin back there. I see him air bubble right there from one. Pretty cool to see that stuff while you doing it, right? Yep. And there's that shark. Watch out, stuff. Oh, he bit Look, the seat. He bit the seat. <laughs> Let go. Don't pick him up like that. Let go. All I right, want to get him back he, out. He bit that old seat. All right, let go. Let's see what wasn't that bad before yeah. he got. But Bye, baby. We got a ripped up boat seat to carry you guys along with now. <laughs> It happens. I'm glad it wasn't in our fingers. Who cares? That seat's replaceable. I just saw, uh, I'm surely thankful that it didn't flip back and grab Steph, though. Yeah, you know, yeah, Steph's okay. got to be a little more careful with this stuff. You're used to it, but anything can happen, right, guys? Oh, yeah. There was the baby. Another one back here. Got a little dolphin all over around us. Waiting on us to throw this bycatch back. And we've already burnt about 12, 13 gallons of fuel. We're limited on how long we can pull. You know, we have 17 gallons. We're gonna make one more pool. So guys, in this this little small 17 foot boat, we've decided that this is the best way for us to manage our shrimp. Um, stuff she's got a place to sit right here and I'm driving the boat I can kind of help her out and we'll sort through this catch got some pretty decent shrimp in here we got a few flounder and stuff we can get them out of here pretty quick Get the de head in these shrimp. Woo, we have unhooked from this trawl net for the last time today with you guys. Thanks you guys for coming along on another video. We're gonna run right over here. 
We're going to pull it up. We're going to show you what we have. We really appreciate you guys coming along. Big catch to the last pull. Tied on there. Let's get around beside you and we'll see what we got. Oh, oh. wow. Definitely going to have to help you with that. Yeah. I can tell Ooh. you one thing we got a lot of stuff to sort through here. Yeah, we do. That was a that big was bag cool. there. Don't let it go back over. We're not going to let it roll back over on us. And a lot of us jelly balls and just all types of stuff. But there is some shrimp in here. Yeah, we got to go through it. Them. We need them. We need them shrimp. Big old whitey. Look at that here we got. Golly. There's a stingray right there beside him. We're going to overrun the basket this time. Let me come on this side then. Want me to help you? Let me pull a couple more times and then I might ask for your help. Trying to get all this stuff out of here because this is the Long last time we're going to be pulling it. A little bit of everything in here, guys. Whew. Wow, look at that whiting. That is a big one. And since this is our last pull, we're going to go ahead and, you know, just leave our tail bag in the boat. And we'll just pull our net in, you know, working back to it. We got a lot of sorting to do, guys. You can see all the stuff we have in here. You can see we got the shrimp. We hit them big on that last pull. Here's your bonnet head shark. We're not gonna mess around too much. We're gonna get right to it. Thanks you guys for coming along with another video. If you like videos like this and content like this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and come with us on other videos right here in Beaufort, South Carolina. We appreciate you watching. Thanks guys, we're gonna get to work. Have a great day.